Hello and welcome to another video for Limit of the Net. Today I'm showing something on my Pine phone and I am showing OpenSUSE or SLAMOS. Now there's this community effort that is bringing OpenSUSE to the Pine phone and they've recently published new images. On the 18th of April they've published a quite massive changelog about what they've been doing recently and yeah there's a lot in here some of these are normal fixes for for sh that are just new versions and so on but then there's more interesting stuff like that they've set up a firewall that comes enabled by default and allows kd connect on the plasma mobile image because they've got a plasma mobile image and a fosh image now and also uh Pulse Audio no longer requires patches, no more X server, a lot more, right? Unfortunately, the modem still resets randomly, but they've switched to ED25 manager, so if they follow all the patches that come down that route, it should be working better soon. So, Package Kit is able to work offload, uh, offline from Discover. Um, App armor, and p app armor pattern. So they've actually done stuff not just for functionality like camera but also for security here. And that is pretty cool. Now, what I'm looking at here is Plasma Mobile. Uh, now, I personally started out with desktop Linux uh, in the early 2000s on some version of SUSE Linux. So, seven point something. And that was my first experience with Linux, and that was, of course, with the KDE desktop. So Plasma on OpenSUSE, that is a combination that really uh, clicks for me. Because, yeah, that's what I'm used to. So Fosh was always a bit confu confusing. Yeah, now they don't overdo it with the pre-installs here. Uh, so Anglefish, the Plasma mobile browser, Calculator, Calendari, the calendar app, clock. Uh, we've seen, I've shown them all on video before. Uh, discover, index file manager, KD Connect, megapixels camera, and that one, by the way, let's just briefly open it, is not skinned to match the theme here, but it just looks like a stock GTK app. And once we start it for a second time, it actually uh, looks uh, much better. So it's that's something that's been affecting all PinePhone images for a while. And on the first launch of megapixels, it's all a bit blue and weird. But then on the second start, it's usually fine. Also pre-installed are Ocular, a PDF viewer that also can do ebooks, a phone phone book pics that's the image view of the maui project settings for settings spacebar the sms client and the terminal so let's see uh, what the terminal says about the kernel that comes with this image so that's you name dash r and yeah that's the haptic feedback working there by the way which is something I'm not going to, I'm not liking, so let's head over to the settings. So go here, bam, terminal closed, opening settings up. All this is running off a micro SD card, and I think it's fairly smooth, so it's not slow, definitely. In pine font terms, you know, may still look maybe not super fast. So the first thing I'm going to change here is the lock screen pin. Now if I had applied is it no apparently it doesn't want to. So I think we're stuck with one two three four. But anyway I wanted to change some virtual keyboard. So let me turn off this vibrate on key press and turn off all these options by the way too because They've been uh, causing me more problems than they've been helpful. Uh, do try them. 
Uh, but uh, I'm personally uh, not really into that. So there's no theming available here. Uh, by the way, from what it looks like, um, Manjaro Plasma allows you to choose a dark theme here or even multiple to restyle that keyboard, but apparently not yet on OpenSUSE. Okay, Plasma Style, by the way, would be where you are going to style the rest of the thing here. And then we can choose Breeze Dark, which is then quickly applied. Well, yeah, looks quite nice, but it's not really dark yet. Anyway, let's connect to the internet. And there's my little test network. Okay, there's my network and that's linmob.net, the URL of my blog. Yes, didn't mistype here and we should be connected soon. So now I'm going to set up KD Wallet and I'm going to set a password that's identical with the lock screen pin because I hope that this will avoid uh, help me avoid that I will have to unlock this every time after starting in order to connect to Wi-Fi because that's one of the fun things with, with setting up KD Wallet here. Okay, the connection is activated. Great. This notification looks a, bit, a little bit too large, but yeah. Now let's just open Discover to see if there are updates available. Okay. Apparently there are slight problems with internet connectivity. Can also try this on the terminal. So that would be sudo zipper dub for a full upgrade on Tumbleweed. And now the password for root. Now that's something that might confuse you. So let's get back to the browser here. And you see there, okay, the root user has a default password and that is Linux. So you should set a different one like with the pin, but uh, that's basically a very good decision to do this because like this, you can have a root user password. That's not your pin, which is always, even if you make it long, uh, quite easily brute forcible by being simple, right? So I, I really like this setup they, that they went with here. It's not making this a super secure distribution, right? But it's definitely better than if they uh, hadn't done this. And now there are a few up upgrades available, of course. Would be strange if there weren't with the rolling distribution. But, yeah. Okay. And now these updates are actually installing. One more thing I want to try is whether I can call this. Now I'm trying to call and again, yeah, this notification looks a bit weird, but it's working and let's accept that call. Uh, let's turn on the speaker and see. <laughs> Seems to work. That's pretty good. And yeah, so we've tested that. I'm not going to test SMS in this video or anything else, but generally, I think this is the first time I'll look at an OpenSUSE distribution and think this is ready for using. So let's use the browser here for a little bit. And let's maybe go to my blog. See if that loads. Yeah, that loads just fine. And then let's head over to the app list. Which will always take a while to load. 
and yeah so software availability on OpenSUSE is something that I'm not really sure of so I don't have a column to list what packaged what's packaged in OpenSUSE here um, we could go back to the terminal and just search for a few packages by using a zipper search of let's for example look for NeoChat and seems like NeoChat is available so let's install it And that should be happening shortly too. So, okay. And here we go. There it is. So now we could, in theory, use metrics here. Yeah, that's working as intended and generally I have to say I'm really quite happy with this. Okay, let me restart the phone. Now to look at conversions and to see how Wi-Fi unlocking of uh, K wallet is necessary or not. Now this dark screen is a bit discouraging maybe because it always makes me think oh god maybe it crashed maybe the battery is empty maybe nothing's happening but you just need to stay patient if this is going on so let me get my capture cards hdmi in cable the docking station docking bar by pine 64 and then see what's going on here okay now here we are let's enter that pin okay so I have to unlock KD wallet anyway okay let's connect this to power and then let's head over to this here is looking quite weird I know there's my hand and okay so the screen has turned off immediately and in in the phone and this here is turning on apparently okay good so I just need to reconnect my keyboard and let's try convergence real briefly okay this is flaky but I think that's more an issue of my capture card here which is one of those very cheap ones okay so I'm navigating here in OBS studio and unfortunately I'm not seeing much right now okay so this is the launcher let's maybe try anglefish Okay, still slow Linmob apps loaded here. Let's uh, maybe split the screen and try K Runner by hitting Alt and Space. There we go, and now we can start the terminal. Maybe. Okay. And put that to the right with uh, Super and Right. Yeah, and now we can Alt-Tab between those windows and it has an Alt-Tab switcher, but there are no window borders or anything, so this isn't really the best uh, convergent experience, but if you have to, you can do basic, uh, very limited to two apps on a screen convergent with Plasma Mobile here. That's quite full screeny. But yeah, it uh, sort of works. So I think of the OpenSUSE community that does this image has done a really good job. 
uh, this is much better than what it was previously and I think for convergence you should really try the Fosch image which should be pretty good and which I might look at later. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.